Hi there, I'm Drew Badger, the world's first and number one English fluency guide. And in this video, I'd like to help solve another problem that a lot of learners ask me about. Uh, and this is when maybe they don't really have a lot of speaking confidence. They're nervous about other people coming up and beginning to ask them questions or try to start speaking. So how do you deal with this? Uh, how, do you, how do you deal with the nervousness you feel when other people are asking you questions about fluency or, you know, just having, trying to have a conversation? conversation with you. Now, the answer to this is really the same answer that you would give to any situation where you're feeling nervous about something, especially nervous about other people trying to trying to make you interact in some way. In this case, you're speaking. Uh, but it begins with preparation. So something I would do when I was struggling with Japanese and trying to learn how to say things and feeling very nervous actually about speaking uh, is when people would start talking to me, I would, I would think, oh no, I, I'm actually worried in conversations because I don't know how to respond to people. And uh, even worse than that, people will know that I don't know how to respond to people. I know that's a, a weird sentence, but uh, it's one thing to have weak ability. But when people know you have weak ability, that's, 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 it, really felt, it really felt very bad for me. Um, so what I started doing was just visualizing the process beforehand. Um, and just thinking to myself, okay, like I'm going to sit here and just visualize other people coming to me and trying to speak and asking me questions and things like that. And I thought, okay, like the worst that happens is I won't be able to understand what they're saying or I won't be able to give them, you know, like the answer they're looking for or whatever, or maybe even I make a mistake. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but I would just visualize this process. And, and when you begin thinking, okay, what's the worst that could happen? Like, it's really not so bad. Even if I felt a little bit nervous in conversations, actually very nervous. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit like ashamed to admit it. Uh, but yeah, I did feel very nervous about it. Um, but really, it, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm not Japanese. I wasn't born in Japan, so I'm not supposed to be a fluent native Japanese speaker. So it's okay if I make mistakes. So when I get into a conversation like that with people, I don't have to feel so nervous. So that's the, the beginning part of this. But then also the second step for visualization is that you're imagining yourself actually being confident. It doesn't really matter if you know the language or not. It's just more you feel excited about that coming because you know it's an opportunity for you to learn something. So don't think about it as a chance for you to be embarrassed or for someone to expose you because you don't know how to speak or you might make a mistake. Think about it as a chance to learn something. Wow, somebody is actually coming to me to ask something or to practice with me. I'm probably going to make a mistake, but it's more important that I get to learn something right now. So I'm actually having a, 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 an experience right now where um, like somebody walks up to me and and I think, oh no, like I could make a mistake. But at the same time, uh, at the same time, I do have an opportunity to learn something from them. So I could just maybe uh, like learn a new word or phrase, or even I just have another opportunity to practice and improve. So there's always that that thinking about, <clears throat> excuse me, what's the, the positive thing uh, that's stronger than maybe the negative thing that I might think is happening. So when you're visualizing this, think about both of these situations when you're not around native speakers. Number one, remember that uh, it's not as bad as you think it is. It never as bad as we think it will be. Uh, and then the other part of that is like, wow, I actually can learn something from this. So it, it, it wants you to be more excited and it makes you more excited about getting into conversations with people. Now, the second part of this is when you're actually in the conversation, especially if you feel nervous, focus on just having a few things that you can use to respond to people and to get them speaking more. So if you feel nervous in conversations when you're speaking with people, uh, do, do the, I guess, kind of let them do the talking. And you can do that by just saying things like, tell me more. It's like, these are the three magic words that will get other people speaking because most people pretty much all all of us, really, I don't really know a person that doesn't like talking about themselves. You know, here I am, I'm talking about myself in this video. But uh, when you're thinking about these things, if you allow other people to speak, they're going to be much more excited to speak and you will learn a lot more in the process. But during this time where you're developing your confidence, you're improving a little bit more, you should be trying to speak if you can. But if you don't really have that confidence and you just want to be a little bit more comfortable about it, you want to take a bit more time uh, and really become much more confident 
comment, then you can do that by just asking questions like, oh, that's interesting. Tell me more. So even if you don't understand everything you're hearing, you're just getting like, could you explain more about this? Tell me more about that. You're letting the other person speak and it's just getting you excited and making you feel more comfortable about being in the conversation itself. The third step to this is as you do feel more confident and you begin saying more things. And I've talked about this in previous videos where I really want you to not just say the same thing over and over again, but give a slightly different answer, a slightly different way of expressing something, maybe change one word or part of a phrase when you're expressing something uh, that like instead of saying like I went yesterday and it was a lot of fun. You could say I went yesterday and it was really interesting or it was really engaging or I had a great time. So you're taking one thing, you're maybe saying the same thing but adding something to that and changing that expression just a little bit. So these are great ways where you can take what you know and as you're learning things you begin to, to push yourself a little bit more to speak a little bit more. And over time as you do these three steps, visualizing, listening, and then speaking a little by little, uh, this is what's really going to help you develop your speaking confidence and uh, make you feel much more excited about conversations. So if you feel nervous, try following these steps. Even just the visualization by itself can really have you feeling a lot more excited about conversations and a lot less nervous. Really, you're not going to remove the fear, but the, your job is to make the fear so insignificant, so tiny, so small, because the excitement that you have about getting into a conversation is way up here. So the amount of fear doesn't go away, but you can make the fear seem like a lot less because you're just so much uh, more excited about the conversation. Anyway, if this has been helpful for you, do click on this video, click that like button, uh, and do let me know in a comment down below if you have any questions about what I'm talking about. You can also become a subscriber to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to learn more about improving your speaking confidence, your fluency, everything else you need in order to become a confident, fluent speaker, do click on the link in this video or on the link in the description below this video. And that will uh, take you to our free English fluency quiz. So this will let you uh, tell us exactly what your problem is. Maybe you struggle with your pronunciation, your listening, or maybe your confidence because you're watching this video. But click on that and we can tell you the exact steps steps you can take to improve that so you really develop your fluency much, much faster. So click on the link in this video or on the link in the description below this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the video uh, coming up next. Bye-bye.